what is up guys tga19 here bringing you a bit of news today about rainbow six siege now i only just went on the internet to look at some stuff or you know some game news just casual looking at the latest news for games if there's anything interesting because pretty much this week has been dominated by fallout so i thought i'd try and find a bit of a news to talk about and i managed to stumble onto something very good to talk about um it's been quite under the radar actually considering you know how hyped the game was you know, back at, I think it was like E3 2014 when this game was re revealed, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm just trying to check now on my uh, laptop now. Yeah, it was. So, of course, Rainbow Six Siege, um, we did get some details about, like, its season pass slash DLC. We knew that the maps, were, all the maps on the game were going to be free, which is something I really like. It's similar to what Guerrilla Games did with Killzone and Shadowfall. I think more developers should really do it because it's just so so good and I mean what's the point of pay, pl paying for maps you should really just you know keep DLCs as you know just just just, just if you're gonna do maps for free I honestly don't see the point in season passes however Ubisoft have decided to completely destroy this trend by making a season pass for Rainbow Six Siege and I have it listed down here what uh, the season pass actually comes with on my phone, so I'll just run through it now for you guys. It comes with a seven day exclusive early access to the eight new operatives, which are basically characters you can basically play as, which you can instantly add to your roster upon their release. Five permanent 5% rundown boost, which will allow you to unlock content quicker. The exclusive season pass portal weapon kit, the safari bundle of five weapon skins. Two extra daily renewed earnings challenges, giving you a total of five, and 600 R6 credits, which is four ninety nine 4.99. So that's about roughly, I think it's like three pounds and thirty pence, if I'm correct. That's me trying to work out math there. That uh, can be used to purchase additional in-game content like weapon skins. Now, currently, the season pass is included with the game's gold edition. Or it can be purchased separately for thirty pounds, or tw I mean, th I mean thirty dollars, sorry, and twenty pounds. I'm guessing it's also thirty euros as well. Now, honestly, what is the point of releasing a season pass like this? I mean, I know you, uh, we all know why. It's of course for money. We all know that Ubisoft are kind of like following on the back heels of EA and just want the money of every single person they can find. Because honestly, I don't on see the point. In having a season pass, like, and the even worse is that Ubisoft has confirmed that the pretty much over half of the stuff that they're offering in the season pass you can actually get by pl just simply playing the game, and that just makes me think to myself, what is the actual point? Like, if you could earn most of this stuff in game, what is even the point of having a season pass? It completely, def if I completely defeats the object of having a season pass, a season pass. Is supposed to be something that you know is exclusive to you the person who has been you know coughed up enough the money to be able to buy something but the fact that other people will be able to get it by simply playing the game to be honest with you what's even the point you might as well just say you know this is the stuff you could earn if you play our game you know for a, for this certain amount of time and you'll unlock all of these things not give it as a you know buy and buy and now get it instantly kind of thing you know like what EA does with FIFA points it's, it's, it just doesn't, it's, uh, I think it really just does open the gateway for the noobs of the gaming industry who just want to absolutely tarnish it and it really just does annoy me quite a fair bit because, you know, you know it, it kind of takes away the object of trying to play the game for longer. I mean, the reason you continue to play games multiplayer is so you can unlock stuff. If it's given to you from the beginning, it does kind of defeat the object of wanting to play it for longer, unless it's absolutely amazing. And, you know, granted, you know, Rainbow Six Siege looks like I'm actually quite a decent, you know, elimination game. However, the biggest problem I have with it right now, currently, is the fact that it's just not exactly... It's not, I just don't know what it is, it just, it's just something about it that makes me think that the game's not going to have much content in it at launch. Which, uh, like, I said, like I said earlier on in the video, I know it's good that the game, of course, you know, is giving away all of its maps for free. That's what more games should do. But if you're going to give your way of maps for free, obviously that's not going to be in your season pass. But in your season pass you include a load of add-ons that can be earned, you know, if you're playing the game. There's honestly no point in doing it, and, you know... 
I mean, I know some people will, try, will, will probably say to me, oh, well, you should be grateful. I mean, you're getting all these maps for free. I mean, like I said many, many times, I am grateful. It's just that now that the maps aren't on the season pass, and they've revealed what they're offering, and it's just not worth it. I mean, yes, £20, you know, isn't exactly the... the, the is no, nowhere near the dearest, you know, season pass out there, but it's just lacking so much usable content, and in my opinion, I do think that... I probably, even if I do get Rainbow Six Siege, which will probably be unlikely, unless I get it next year, I just honestly don't see any point in getting the season pass, unless you're a true diehard fan. But, you know, that kind of wraps up the video today. Uh, let me know in the comment section below what you think about this season pass. Do you think it's, you know, a very good season pass, or do you feel a bit let down by it, you know, considering getting these maps for free, and if you're a true diehard fan, this is what you're getting by spending 30 dollars and euros, or 20 pounds. But anywho, that's it for today's video. Thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you again next time.